Participants in the ARC left Harbor as planned on Sunday. We can follow along on the nifty web app that they have to see how the boats progressed. We can see that a few boats have had to actually return to port for various reasons, some retiring altogether. We've noted some boats have had issues with steering, lost rudders, etc. If we take a look at the patterns of the boats, we can see there's a few different strategies going on. Looking to the south, we can see boats like Allegra, the bespoke Nigel Irons catamaran, investing heavily on traveling south. These boats are headed south likely because of the predicted higher winds closer to the equator. Using the predict wind overlay, or the windy overlay, we can see that the winds are much higher if they travel much further south of the Cape Verde Islands, with doldrums predicted to the north. Not unsurprisingly, we can see that the fast catamarans and the larger boats, like Staycom and Ulysse, are all out at the front. These boats are shown averaging nine knots, sometimes even up to 15 with boats like the Allegra. Overall, the groups that left harbor together are basically grouped into a big bunch, all staying at the same relative speed. The few stragglers that we see at the back have typically had to return to port or have had mechanical issues. Let's take a closer look at one of the faster boats, and that'd be Allegra. The Allegra is a Nigel Irons custom catamaran. Let's jump onto their website to see if we can see a little bit more about them. Jumping onto the Nigel Irons design website, we can see some photographs that show what a graceful looking boat Allegra is. Truly a luxury performance cruising cap. This is a very long, very slender hull design. Following up our last episode where we talked about what is a rally, uh, we'll talk today about what does it cost and how do you join. So if you go onto their website, you can request an info packet. Uh, I've done that and showing you the results here. This is the uh, info packet for ARC 2020 that will happen next year. The same uh, rally from Gran Canaria to St. Lucia. So most people are going to ask, what does it cost? And the answer is it depends on the size of your boat and the size of your crew. So we can see there are brackets depending on the length and depending on how many people are in your boat and some other little uh, add-ons for crew members and divisions. Uh, so if you're racing, you add a supplement, multi-hull uh, multi boats add a supplement, etc. What do these fleas include? They include inspections, uh, some seminars and group outings, etc. Uh, some safety demonstrations, and also a few nights stay at the marinas where you start and stop. Of course, you're asked to be there sometime ahead of time and stay a little bit afterwards, uh, so some of that cost will be at your own at your own expense. 